Bismillah Rahman Yurukin. Today we start our wada to Sadisa Asala and the Susnani or Hamsun at the Dribur Rabi, the Badali Hivara Mazamilika, Kamafil Misal. Al Misal at Talib Lowell Aina to Sell Fajra Talibu Sani, who sell Fajra fi Masjidi Tarik. Waina to Sali Anta. I pray Fajr in Masjid Tariq. And where do you pray? A Talib Lawal. Usali fi Masjid Yasir. I pray in Masjid Yasir. So when, <coughs> when the name of the mosque is a proper noun, then we don't use Alif Lam with Masjid and its name. But when it is a <coughs> Noun which can be used as a nakira or indefinite, then we will use alif lam to make it definite. For example, hai means neighborhood. So if we just say hai, then it will be an indefinite word. So to make it definite, we will use alif lam here. So also we will use alif lam in masjid. Similarly, note on normal occasion, it can be used as uh, indefinite word. So when in this case, since we are talking about a specific masjid, so we will use Arif Lam to make them definite. But with the proper noun, we don't need Arif Lam to make it definite. They are already definite. So who wants to read Reza Rand? Reza Rand is Raise your hand. Miss Satya, you are first student, and Miss Adiyat, you are second student. Uh, Aina Tazalil Fajar. Miss Adiyat, unmute your microphone. Usalil Fajar, if I must do the Toriki, why I not to solely answer, Auntie. Um, Usali fi masjidi yasir. Uh, Aina to zalil suhur. To zalil zuhra. Zuhra is shadda, so Alif Lam will become silent. To zalil zuhra. Aina to zalil suhra. To zalil zuhra. Film Masjid Faisal. We don't have Faz. We have Bilal. Usali Zohra fi Masjid Bilal. Okay, Bilal. Okay. Usali Le Fajr fi Masjid Bilal. Usali Zohra fi Masjid Bilal. Zohra fi Masjid Bilal. Why not to sell the anta? Why not? Why not to sell the anta? Usali fi masjidi Faisal. Ah, Azra. Why not to sell the Azra? Usali al Azra fi masjid al Souk. Why not to sell the anta? Why not to sell the anta? Usali fi masjidil fi fil masjidil o fi masjid. Here in this case, we will not use uh, alif lam with masjid because it is muzaf. Usali uh, fi masjidil hai. Okay, next. Why not to sell Maghrib. Aina to Salil Maghrib. Usalil Maghrib fi Masjid Aiman. Masjidil Iman. Masjidil Iman. Dil. Wa Aina to Salli Anta. Usalli fi Masjidil Masjidil Nur. Yes, Usali fi masjidin 
Noor, okay. Usalli fi masjidin noor. Ah, ah, isha. Aina tusallil isha. Usallil isha fi masjid Salman. Why, why not usalli anta? Usalli fi masjid Khalid. Okay, at the table, Hamis, we have questions here. Ajibanil Asina Tittaniya. I will ask you and you will answer me according to yourself. Who wants to answer these questions? Raise your hand. Okay, nobody wants to answer. To, so these questions are your homework. And you will write their answers on your notebooks. And also, you will change these questions to female first. For example, here it is written that on your notebook, you will write it like because you are female, so you will write so you will answer these questions according to your homework and all these questions are your Homework. At the Dribu Salis Silbain al Jumalati was Surat al Munasiba. He is asking you to connect the sentence with the appropriate picture. So you join them. For example, Anta Musafirun illa Turkiya. This is appropriate for Jim. So you join it with Jim. In this way, you will join all others. If anyone has any question regarding this, Page or previous pages, she can ask me. At the Ribu Rabi Silbaina Suali Waljwabi is asking you to join the question with the answer. So, Aina to Salil Juma, where do you pray the Juma? The appropriate answer is Fil Masjid al Haram. So, in this way, you join all these questions with these answers. This is also your homework. At the Dribul Khamis Ikrail Fikra Summa Jibanila Sila. He's asking you to read the paragraph, then answer the questions. Who wants to read it? Raise your hand. Miss Amin Habdi Hassan will read the paragraph, and Miss Satya will answer these questions. Ms. Amin Abdi Hassan, unmute your microphone. She is not available. Ms. Satya, read the paragraph. Okay. Uh, Salmanu min Turkiya. Hua Turkiyun. Salmanu musafirun ilal Makkah. Salati il makasalati. Listen, Ila makata lis salati. Are fijali lis salati. Ah, ah, Ila makata lis salati. Fil masjidil haram. Ah, Hua musafirun Ila makata. Bil hafilati. Bil hafilati. Uh, Salmanu, Salmanu, Salmanu sa yusalli fil masjidil haram, harami sal, ah, uh, wait, fil masjidil harami sal, oh, what is that word? Fil masjidil haram salawatil khamsa. Okay. Uh, fil masjidil haramis salawatil kamsa. Al-fajr. Uh, Al-fajr. 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 Wal-zuhura. Wal-zuhura. Correct. Wal-gad. Wal-asura. Wal Maghrib, 
Wal Isha. Uh, Salmanu Said Sa Said Sayas Habu Salmanu Sayas Habu Ilal Madinat Ilal Madinati Yaumal Yaumal Kamis Yaumal Kamisi Okay. Um, sa yusallil sa yusallil jumua fil masjidil fil masjid nabawi nabawi fil masjidin nabawi inshallah now answer these questions um min ayi Baladin. Hmm. Min ay baladin Salmanu. Sal uh, where is Salman's co country? From which country? Min ay baladin. From which country is Salman? So basically, he's asking Salman is from which country? Ah, uh, ah, uh, Salmanu min Turkiya. Okay. Then ma jinsiya tuki. Ma jinsiya tuka. To who? Ma jinsiya to who? What is his nationality? Who mean his? Ah, uh, ma jinsiya to who? Who are Turkiyun? Yeah. Ila aina who are Musafirun? Uh, Salmanu Musafirun ilal Makkah. Okay. So here in the question, they are using the pronoun. So it will be good. If you use the pronoun in the answer, who wa musafirun ila makka? Ah, uh, who musafirun ila makka? Uh, then, hal who wa musafirun? Okay, now continue. Uh, hal huwa musafirun bis sayyarati uh, Is he going from car? No uh, La So you say la huwa musafirun bil hafila uh, La huwa musafirun bil hafila Then Limaza huwa musafirun ilal makka. Ila makka. We don't have alif lam with makka. Limaza huwa musafirun ila makka. Uh, what's the answer? Naham? No, no, no. Limaza no. means why? Why he? Why is he traveling uh, to makka? Uh, so this is the answer. Assalati as. How can I say Asalati fil Masjid al Haram? Huwa Musafirun ila Makkata lis Salati fil Masjid al Haram. Oh, uh, full answer, huh? Yes. Huwa uh, Musafirun ila Makka lis Salati fil Masjid al Haram. Then, Masa, Masa. Sayusalli fil Madinati. Masa Sayusalli fil Madinati. Madinati. I didn't catch up the word Madinati. Oh, there's the Madinati. Hmm. Madinati. Hua o. Hua. Sayasabu yal Madinati. Yaumal Kamis Sayusalil Jumua. Okay, so the answer is Sayusalil Jumua. Film Madina. Mm. Okay, next. Mata Satas Habu. Mata Satas Habu Ilal Madinati. Sayaz Habu. Oh, sorry. Mata sayas habu 
ilal madinati ah huwa sayasabu ilal madinati yawmal kamisi ah huwa huwa sayasabu ilal madinati yawmal kamis right aina saya sali jumwa aina saya sali jumwa um fil masjidil nabawi saya sali jumwa fi masjidil nabawi okay if anyone has any question feel free to ask me you can ask me directly okay when i if i am speaking out okay at the dibu sadis ikra al fikra read the paragraphs of madda alamat sahiha aw khata is asking you to read the paragraph then put the check mark or cross mark who wants to read raise your hand miss rama read it assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam يصلي الزهر والعصر في المسجد عثمان ويصلي المغرب والعشاء في المسجد علي طارق يدعون 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 المنا المنبه يداول يداول منبه يداول منبه لسن يداول أول منبه يداول منبه يداول منبه بجانبه ويستيقظ مبكرا ويصلي الفجر في المسجد في المسجد وينام بعد صلاة الفجر. Okay, if anyone has any question regarding this paragraph, you can ask me because this uh, question, these questions are your homework. You'll put check mark or cross mark on them according to the paragraph. No question, so we'll proceed. Next, we have writing chapter. You can do it if you want. And you can send me. Next, we have very important question paper. This question paper is made from unit 5 and unit 6. So here we have. Ms. Hartini, do you want to ask any question? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ustaz, could you translate in English the, the one we recited by sister? Okay. Who wants to translate this? Raise your hand. Yes, that one. Okay, anybody who wants to translate this paragraph, raise your hand. Okay, Miss Rabbi Shehu, translate it. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Barik yusalli al-zuhur wal-asr fi masjid al-Uthman. Tahir prays zuhur asr in Uthman Mosque. Wa yusalli al-Maghrib wal-Isha fi masjid al-Ali. And he prayed uh, Maghrib and Isha in Aliyu Mos uh, Mosque. Mm -hmm. Barik Yadaul Munabbaha Munabbihi Munabbiha Bijanibihi Barik uh, I don't know the meaning of this. Tariq Yadau puts al munabbiha al alam clock bijanibihi besides him 
He meets him. Besides, Tariq puts the alarm clock beside him. Okay. Why is taking you Mubakkaran? Mubakkiran. And Mubakkir. Mubakkiran. Why is taking you Mubakkiran? And he and he wakes up late. Ali Mubakkiran mean Ali. Ali. Waisalli al Fajri fi al Masjid. Fajra. Yusalli al Fajra. Yusalli al Fajra. And he prays um, al Fajr in the mosque. Waina mubaada salat al Fajr. And uh, he sleeps. He sleeps after Fajr. Anybody, any question? No question, so... Iqtabit nafsaka, test yourself. Sil bain al kalimati fi hamza wa ma yuna sibuha fi ba. He's asking you to join the word in the column hamza to what is appropriate to it in column. You will just match the column. For example, Tam is appropriate for Sharab. So you join Tam and Wash Sharab together. Next, Nahifun is appropriate for Saminun. So you join Nahifun with Saminun. In this way, you will join them together. This is your homework. If you have any issue, feel free to ask me. Then you will put X mark on different words. Zohar, Asal, Maghrib are similar because these are the names of prayer. Azan is a different word. So you put a cross mark on Azan. Shai, Kawa, Jawan, Ma. Hey, Shai, Kawa and Ma are drinks. But Jawan is a different thing. So you'll put a cross mark on Jawan. So this is also your homework. Akmil Jumala Bil Kalimat Talia is asking you to use these words to fill these blanks. Al Tashrabul Al Tashrabushaya La Fadil Kahwa. So in this way you will fill all these blanks. Any issue, any problem? Miss Aisha, are you available? Miss Aisha, can you hear me? Miss Aisha, what about your homework? It looks like that you are doing a part of your homework and just sub, uh, submitting it to Google Classroom. Do you want to say anything about it? Yes, sir. I, I went, I'm not around my house right now. So the place I'm in, I'm not able to print out the other parts of the book. Okay, then if you don't have book, then why are you not doing it on your notebook? Can I do that? Yes. From now on, complete your complete homework and uh, submit your complete homework to Google Classroom. And if anyone does not have the book, then she can complete, she can write the homework on her notebook. Okay. Then Sahih Hil Akhta, correct the mistakes. So here, in all these sentences, there is some grammatical mistake. You need to find that mistake and you need to correct that mistake. For example, Maza Tatlubu Minat Taam Ya Fatma, what would you? So Tatlubu is for second person male, but if we hear Fatima is second person female. So you change Tatlubu into Tatlubina. You write Tatlubina here. Then Hal Tashabina Shaya Ya Ahmad. Tashabina is for second person female, but Ahmad is second person male. So you need to change Tashrabina into Tashrabu. In this way, you will change all these sentences. Any problem? Akmil Biwadil Kalimati Sahiya Mimma Bain Al Kausain complete by putting the correct word from what is between the two brackets. In the brackets, you have two words. 
you need to choose the right word. For example, Hal Anti, Mariz is masculine and Fatma is feminine. So we we'll use the second word, Hal Anti Mariza. Then Ana Zahibun Ilan Masjidi is appropriate. So you will use Ila here. So Sarma is asking, we need to change full sentence or word. You just need to correct the wrong word. So in every sentence, there will be one or wrong word. For example, here Tatlubu is wrong. So we'll only correct the Tatlubu. You write Tatlubina here. Here Tashabina is the only thing wrong. So you write Tashabu here. Then here Akulu Salasa Wajabatin. Here, if you remember, I once told you in the class that we from three to 10, we use plural word. So you just write Wajabat here. You just write the plural of Wajaba here. Then in this way, you will do this question also. Then he's asking you to read the paragraph and put check mark or cross mark on it. So this question paper has 40 marks. You all must do it. If you have any problem with it, feel free to ask me. Al Wahdatu Sabia, seventh unit at Dirasa studies. Okay, now we'll proceed to last time we practiced the dialogues in detail. So today we are going to study the Holy Quran. If anyone has any questions, she can ask me. So someone is Miss Hartini is asking, do all female names end with Ta Malbuta? All female names not end with Ta Malbuta, but you can say 90% female name or feminine word at end with Ta Malbuta. For example, your name is Hartini, you are female, but it does not end with Ta Malbuta. So you are one of those 10% words which don't end with tamar buta okay in this class we have read the surat bakra till here so if anyone wants to read it raise a hand Okay, but here, as you see, our meeting time will end shortly. So I will take a break now. And after the break, inshallah, we'll continue. Maas salamu.